the concept of faithfulness. And this uh, must be a unchangeableness, a moral character, must it not? And we give you a number of quotations. This cannot refer to God's actions toward different situations because he very outstandingly changes his activities according as his responsibilities would indicate. This must have to do with his character. His unchangeable manifestation of love in the choice of his great being. So at the bottom of the page we have these quotations. Deuteronomy 7, 9, Thy God, he is God, the faithful God. The psalmist said, Thou art the same, and thy years shall have no end. Jeremiah could say, Great is thy faithfulness. Malachi, I am the Lord, I change not. Paul could worship with the words, God is faithful, he abideth faithful. Concerning Jesus could be said, he's the same yesterday and today and forever. James gives us a picture of projection, doesn't he? We have a light source here, you have an image here, you're projecting it on a distant screen. You don't have to move this image very much to have a very great movement on the projection, do you? And so this is what James is saying. There's not only no movement in the moral character of God, but there's no movement in a projection. There's not even a shadow of turning or a shadow cast by turning. And so Peter could tell us, commit the keeping of your souls to him in well-doing as unto a faithful creator.